All right, guys, welcome to this video. Uh, I want to give you guys a sneak peek, if you don't mind, uh, behind the scenes as to what we're creating in this course. This is actually the final project, so I figure we can start with the end in mind and you guys can see what all we're doing in order to be able to uh, get up to speed. And obviously, I'll be telling, I'll be showing you guys a lot more stuff about the process to get to here. Um, but this is the actual uh, Streamlit app that I'm showing you, and also there's a Fast API, a Swagger API. Um, or Swagger documentation. So these are each of the endpoints to the API that I've created. So I don't know if you can see behind me here, there's two different files that I have loaded. There is, um, and, and also down here in the terminal, they're kind of split up. There's a Uvicorn, which is my uh, fast API. And then on the right hand side, I have my Streamlit app running here, uh, um, right here. So that's what, that's what this one is. Okay, so uh, what what the goal is here is to have an application that runs as a front end and it's going to connect up to our API. So what I'm going to do right now and um, pay attention over here to see what the API does. I'll move this up a little bit. I'm going to browse for my files and uh, this is um, a leads.csv file and this has email uh, addresses and, and a bunch of information in there. And this would be like what the marketing guy that wants to uh, score these email subscribers would upload. And uh, we can examine just like what the raw data looks like. Here's the first 10 rows and you can see it's got the MailChimp ID. These are um, some fake names, uh, some fake email addresses. So they've been, uh, um, these have been anonymized, but the rest of the data is actually real. Um, it's real data that I've taken from um, our MailChimp database. So you've got things like member rating, opt-in time, country code, whether or not that person made a purchase, um, how many tags they have, and some engineered features um, that you learn how to build uh, in, in the course, like tag count by opt-in day, um, some of these one-to-many features, I call them. Um, they're all in here. So that's the input. And what we want to try and do is we want to score these users in, uh, in terms of their likelihood of purchasing. So we want to know, you know, how likely are these people uh, to, to, um, to buy? So we have, a, we have two key inputs. So keep in mind, it's, not, it's going to be a non-technical person, a business person that uses this app. So this is uh, to score those leads. We want to take that email list and we want to, using these inputs, run an algorithm. So we're going to say, all right, we expect, you know, roughly 250K a month on average, and we want to maintain about 90% of our sales. So we want to see um, that, that uh, by modifying the threshold, if we can, um, by not targeting people and instead of nurturing them, if we can uh, increase our sales. So that's, uh, we're going to click the run analysis. So now the lead scoring is in process. Keep an eye on the API over here. And you're going to see that it's loading in the, the scikit-learn uh, transformation pipeline. It's supplying these inputs here. And then we've got the, the strategy summary. So um, using this strategy, we're actually expected to boost profitability from 225K to about 294. So that's a difference of 67,000. And what we're going to do is we're going to save um, approximately 45 customers per month using this strategy by nurturing them before uh, we let them, you know, uh, unsubscribe by sending them a sales email too quickly. Okay, and then this is the expected value plot. This is something that we could um, tell the uh, the marketing people to analyze and to make sure that, you know, uh, your cutoff doesn't go too low because if you, if, you, if you try and maximize the profit here, um, you can save 311000 but you're also going to each month lose a little bit of money because um, you're, you're going to not get, the savings right away. It's going to come probably a month or two later, whatever your turnover or your turnaround time for converting customers is. Um, and then this is an example of the lead scoring strategy. You can see that there's been a category that has been added here, hot lead, hot lead, cold lead, hot lead, cold lead, hot lead, um, and so on. And they've got a score in here as to like how hot they are. Um, so you can actually download this lead scoring. Uh, it'll download it as a CSV file, and then you could open this up like an Excel or something. So that is the project that you're going to be uh, making in this course. It's pretty cool. Um, it's pretty neat too to see how these technologies, um, how you can create a backend API, and then you can create a front end to actually like make requests to that API. Um, so that's it for now. Uh, we'll have a lot more coming in the uh, kickoff event. 
So join the, the special launch party. Um, it's coming up for the, my new Python course, uh, Machine Learning and APIs. So if you're interested in, in learning how to create Python machine learning and APIs, we've got a ton of stuff coming. I'm going to be uh, showing off a lot of this stuff in the, uh, in the lesson. Uh, we've got some bonuses too, some shiny for Python apps, and a lot more stuff that we'll, we'll talk about more in the, uh, in the course launch. So see you there. It's coming uh, Thursday at 2 p.m. Eastern, so I'll see you there.